Hey, this is Mr. Reed. Um, <clears throat> so I'm sorry I'm not here today, but I figured I'd go ahead and uh, sh let y'all watch this video and we kind of work together like I'm there. So you should have two um, worksheets in front of you. You should have a half page that looks like a DNA like, like this. Um, that's going through replication. And you should also have a, uh, a picture like this. Now yours isn't colored yet. We're going to go through and color it here later. So let's go ahead and take this one out. So what I want you to do is go through, there should be 12 different places that you can label something here. So, um, and you need to add a couple of things. First off, add something right here. Add a little mark right there, that's going to be one of the 12. And also add a mark right here. And again, this is going to be another one of the 12. And then finally add a mark in between. It's going to be right here, right there where that new nucleotide, or that new um, nitrogen base and nucleotide has been added. So again, this is going to be another one of the 12. So there are 12 different things you should be able to label on this piece of paper. Um, go ahead and take some time. Um, so I'm going to get the, the teacher to pause the video and take some time to label this. Try to get as many, as 12 as many, about 12 of them, um, and do it without your notes and without any of the help. So just silently for the next about five minutes try to label this as many things or you're going to try to get at least 12 spots so go ahead and pause the video now okay so that should be about five minutes um, so let's go ahead and label this let's see how you did now I added three things, so we'll start there. Now, this is DNA replication, so one of the first things you could have labeled was DNA. This is a molecule, this is a structured DNA. Right here, where it, the first line we added was the replication fork. Right here, this little thing is going up. That's the DNA helicase. Remember, that's what's being, that's unwinding. And then right here is the DNA polymerase. That is what's going to add all the additional nucleotides as the DNA helicase unwinds. You also have things like right here in between each of the uh, nucleotides. There's the sugar. Alright, that's not the sugar. There's the phosphate in between each of the nitrogen bases. So there's a phosphate group. And then each point where the nitrogen base connects that's going to be your deoxyribose sugar. Now, <clears throat> each of these little pieces right here is a nitrogen base. So remember, those are the three main components of a nucleotide. Now, you need to label each of the bases. You need to know which of those are. The G is guanine. That C right there is cytosine. T is thiamine, and then remember the A bond to the thiamine is going to be adenine. Now in between each of these nucleotides, it's going to be a double bond. Remember the A and T. It's going to be a double double hydrogen bond between the G and the C for the guanine and cytosine. It's going to be a triple hydrogen bond. But just know there's hydrogen bonds in between each of those. This blue strand is the original strand, or the parent strand. And this green strand, this is going to be the new strand, also known as the daughter strand. So the new or the daughter strand. Okay. So those are the things you should know all of these. Okay? Now, um, this sheet needs to be glued down on page 31 of your notes. On page 30, you should have the replication notes that we did last time in class. And then on page 31 is this half sheet paper. So what, it, what you're going to do is you need to study these two pieces of paper for a quiz on Tuesday when you get back. So again, make sure you um, study for your for that quiz. No, go on 
to the next page. So the, the other page is about the cell cycle. And uh, if you notice, I went ahead and colored it. So what I want you to do is go ahead and pause the video now and color just as I do. Um, notice that this area right here is all going to be red, as is this. This area right here and this small arrow is going to be green. This full long arrow right here is blue. And then these arrows are going to be purple. Orange. and yellow. So go ahead and pause the video and color it based on that. Okay, so you should be done with the coloring. And so what I want you to do is go ahead and add as it's written up here. So all on the side right here, it says interface. Interface is I-N-T-E-R. P H A S E, and what it says is the time of rest and cell growth, and as needed, DNA synthesis. The purple section is the G1 phase, which includes the growth of the cells. The orange is the S phase, which includes the DNA synthesis and application. The yellow is the G2 phase, which is the second growth, and it doubles the organelles. Now, this is all the cell cycle. Um, then the mitosis phase, or the M phase. And then it goes through prophase, then metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. And basically what this is, is this is the cycle that all your cells go through. And so you start off right here with this mother cell. And a mother cell is the original cell. And it goes and it stays in this interphase. And as it goes in the interphase, when it's about to replicate to make two daughter cells, right here, it's going to have to go through mitosis. And mitosis is the prophase, and then metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. After it gets through those phases, it then goes to cytokinesis to where it divides into two. Now there's going to be a reading that you need to do, so I want you to go ahead and pause the video and write these segments down, and then you're going to do the reading and answer the questions.